All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Terroir Wine Making Simulator Tycoon Game. Wine Making Tycoon Simulator Game. One of the two. I don't know. Either way, in the last episode we left off, we found a new combination for the Chardonnay that seems to be getting uh, a big hit with the four-star reviewers, which is good. The problem is I keep letting my vines get sunburned, and I don't know how to prevent that. I actually did one more round right off camera after I stopped recording, and it was the exact same wines as I had just previously done, and... Yeah, unfortunately, they were sunburned yet again. So I'm going to try to leave some of the foliage cover on these things to see what we can do here. I'll tell you, this pesticide treatment thing has been very helpful, but it's very hard to know which vines are. You have to, like, click on them. And unfortunately, if I have these shears selected, you can't unclick the shears without clicking up here first to then go look at your plot of land and see what they have. So it's a little bit annoying from time to time. I wish I could just right click and like either toggle through my tools or whatnot, but either way, I can figure this thing out. I just don't want to have sunburned wine. Again, I want to figure out how to get the ripeness to the perfect level. And therefore have that five star wine we've been looking for. I mean, my renown is up to 27 already. So my renown is going up pretty high because of all this stuff. So I'm, I'm sitting at a two, and I'm in harvestable season here. This is really, really bad. See, we just jumped to a four. Can we not get a sunburn and get this thing to jump up to like a six? There's a five. Come on. Give me a six. Give me a six. Oh, fruit flies. That's okay. Fruit flies shouldn't actually hurt it too much. So seven, eight, seven, seven, and seven, eight, seven, seven. And I think I want my Merlot at a straight six across the board. And I want my Chardonnay at a five, six, six, six. Like I said, I don't really know how to mess with the body. But obviously this is going to be fine uh, because I can't really do anything about that body stuff. Maybe when you upgrade later, you get to have more say about the body. I'm not 100% certain. But so if I want my Chardonnay to be at a five, six, six, six. I need to decrease my sweetness by two. So we want to go for a month on that. And this one I want sixes across the boards. I want a month on this as well. So which is not terrible. It's not as as much as I had to do before. And we're good. So now five is six six six. I need to drop my so I can't really drop the tannins by exactly what I want to. Uh, because the tannins are at a 9. I can only get them down to a 7 or a 5. But if I go down to a 7, I need my acidity to stay exactly where it is. And for this one, I want 6s across the board. I'm going to end up with a 6, 6, 7, 7, it looks like. So this will be a new experiment as well. So if I get my acidity up to... Actually, leave my acidity right where it is. Yeah, on that one as well. And then I think we we barrel these things. Seven, six, nine. Yeah, I need to barrel them for a month. So I think it's December. So I gotta wait until January. And right in January, we can bottle these babies up. And here we go. So six, six, seven, six. And I've done that before, haven't I? Six, six, seven, six with buttery and two star reviewers gave me something good. Six six seven six. Yeah, I've done that before with my four star of two fours and a three gives me four and a half stars. So we know that this one's probably going to give us a six six seven six. I might just do this with a three with three star reviewers across the board because I don't think I've done that yet and see what that turns into. So this is let's remember to put it in a white bottle here. 6676 six, white. So now we're going to go SG Bluebell. That's your bottle of wine. And then this one is a 6676, six, six, which I've never done for the Merlot. Yeah, I've never done a 6676 six, six, for my Merlot. We are going to bottle this one. And we are going to bottle my Merlot in this red bottle. And this is going to be Justin Kalen's Merlot 2029. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now, 
Oh, that's an old one. I was like, I was like, they didn't get sunburned? What's going on here? So organize the tasting for this one, and I want to do three star ratings across the board because I think that'll give me a five star wine. It will. So three star ratings across the board definitely gives me a five star wine. So that's a good one. But I know when I get up to a four star review where I get a half a, a half a bottle or a half a star taken away. This one we're also gonna go with the three stars. And that's a five star wine. So that's Merlot with three star ratings is a five star wine. So that's that's good to know. I am going to sell this one, all 1080 bottles to this guy. No, it's all 1440 bottles to this guy. And do zero here. And sell that. Let's go done. And then let's sell this one. 480 bottles. So we'll do 200 and 280 to these guys. And I think I want to get. What do I have left in this one? I have 60 bottles of this other wine. Was it a four-star wine? It's a four-star wine. I don't want to waste that. So I still want to go give that to uh, somebody when they're when they're open. I'll just sell that when they're open because I have extra. So I should have some you know decent amount of money coming in here. I kind of want to get some re-roll some of these tiles into some of the environmental effects. I think that might be extremely helpful, but I'm not 100% certain on. Like the re-rolling potential. Look at this. I'm gonna have this like terrible, terrible wine again. Because I'm getting no canopy coverage. I do have fruit flies though, so let's try to see if we can find out which one. This one has fruit flies, that one does not. This one has fruit flies and is sunburned. Vine is infested. Oh, with phylloxera. So I need to use my phylloxera infestation as well. On that. And then one, two, and then all three of these need to get the um, the fruit fly fix as well. Oh, I don't, I can't do it yet. There we go. And then right when I am available to do this, let's do it. Boom! There we go. So I no longer have fruit fly infestation going on. I have an optimal canopy, which I don't necessarily want the optimal canopy quite yet. I need this thing to speed up, but not get too overripe and not get sunburned. Oh, I got my. I gotta sell these other bottles while I, while I can. So let's sell this. Let's not try to lose any faith with anybody. Let's just do 20 across the board. Get all those sold, and hopefully those people still like me, and I don't lose my, my rating with them. Because I did spread it out, but that empties my wine cellar, which is nice. June. July. My yield is pretty good. I got fruit flies again, which the question is, do I even bother to deal with the fruit flies? That doesn't have that has fruit flies. The batch of grapes was treated with a cocktail of flexura pesticide in the same year. Is that bad? I didn't know you couldn't do that. Well, I'm learning something new, that's for sure. Uh, I didn't know that that was something I wasn't allowed to do here. Oh, come on. Okay, I got it at sevens. Okay, these don't, they don't have any markings on them to indicate that that was a really bad thing to do. So, I think I'm okay. But I'm not 100% certain. So what about my shard? Six six seven six. No, we're looking for five six six six. We're looking for five six 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 with the shard. Dene. There we go. <laughs> five six six six. Which I might not be able to get to. 
decrease the sweetness by one. So I want you for a month. And my Merlot, I'm looking for sixes across the board if I can do that. So let's do a month as well. And 5666 is just a guess that that is what I'm really looking for here. So if I do 5 is 666, I'm not going to be able to get... I can get to 5 is 676. Let's try a 5676 on that one. And this one I want 6s across the board, which I'm not going to be able to do either. 7, 6, 5... Let's try, let's add 10% to this one. I want to let this one ferment for an extra month, I think. I should actually upgrade my chateau. I need to get my renown up to 50, though. So, ooh, that became buttery. Uh, so that's one month older. 6676. Six, six. We're going to bottle this one. Uh, which is my Chardonnay, and I did a 6676 with the three, I, again, if I give it a three-star review, I know that where it's going to be, and I know if I give it a two, four, what if I add one four-star reviewer to this one? I'm going to add one four-star reviewer to this one. Make sure it gets in the white bottle, and we just did uh, Justin Kalen, so the Thawling, I don't, is, did I spell that right? I might not have, I don't know. Falling Dutchman's get the cursor to cooperate here let's bottle that one and then seven six seven seven I think I wanted to let this one so this would become a six six five seven yeah I'm gonna let this one sit for another month but in the meantime we're gonna organize the tasting with a two four stars and a three And that gave me a yeah, two four stars in a three. So it's interesting because it gave me two four four three. Oh, no, two two three stars and a four. Excuse me. Did I just do wait? Did I do it? Did I do threes? Hmm. I'm looking at the same exact thing. Six six seven six with two fours and a three gave me four and a half. So two threes and a four still gives me a five-star wine, which is pretty decent. So let's get this one sold. And I can sell all these to you because you're buying them at high quantities. Or what I can do is I can give 1980 to you and 660 to you. And then leave that one open for my next bottle in the next month. Hopefully, you uh, will buy them all from me. And you're still, oh, you're still at one month, so i got to wait until... December to sell. So a sick ooh earthly six six five six. Let's go look at my Merlot, and I don't ever have a six six five six yet. So let's bottle this one up, cork it in this red bottle. Get back to my list of people. So this is Winter Moods. I thought it was Winter Moon. I think it's Winter Moons. I think I just typed it wrong when I put it in that spreadsheet. So let's do this one with uh, what are you, three, three, and four. Oh no, no, that was the the other brand. What did I do the last one? We'll go with one four star person and two threes just to see what this thing turned out to be. Four and a half. So three, three, four. Became 4.5 with no special things. $74.80 bottle of wine. We will sell this now to you. We'll sell all of these to you. And what is the chateau upgrades that I could potentially do? How do I upgrade? Oh, I can't because I'm at 44 right now. I don't even know how to do it actually. Placeables. Oh, here we go. You have to hit this. Yeah, lifetime five stars. Titles on. I need renowned fifty and a hundred thousand to do that upgrade. 
How's my financial report look? Oh, beautiful financial report. So I have to wait for one more year. What I need to do is get some known good varieties and get... Oh, no, I've actually get two five-star wines. I will have uh, enough to upgrade the chateau already as it, as it stands. I could also put down one of those things that instantly gains me a bunch of uh, renown. Should I do that? Let's just... I want to play with it. Uh, 10 renown. It costs 50 grand. I have plenty of money for it. Let's buy it. Should I buy it right here on my with my chateau? Boom! Where'd it go? Hey, why isn't it there? I don't want to spend more money again, but it obviously... Whoa. It obviously purchased because... Look, my renown. It's it's up. That's terrible. Well, either way, let's do the upgrade. I just did the upgrade. Oh, there it is. It placed it in the middle of the forest. Okay, that's interesting to know why it did that. I'm not 100% certain, but it did. So now I have an upgraded chateau. So now what we have to look at is what does this allow me to do? Okay, this is not good. Um, we've had one of those seasons where I'm going to have a really, really terrible yield. Oh yeah, please, water, 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 baby, water. Cloudy's not good, I need a rainy. Come on, give me another canopy. Yes, perfect. I just need to make sure they don't increase again. Nope, 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 nope. Can't pause like that. Let's pause. I need to get over here to these. I need to get them trimmed down. I keep trying to pause it to do this and it doesn't work that way. So much rain this season. Getting really bad ripeness. Come on, increase this again. Fruit flies. I'm gonna I'm gonna harvest right here. Okay, it was an interesting an interesting harvest. So let's see now. I had excellent canopy management apparently on the one, but not the other one, which is really strange. Ooh. Ooh. That's really high up there. So let's do... Well, now I can actually do a different... A traditional crusher. Increase tannins by three. Takes three seconds per variety to complete. A traditional hand crank crusher that, although still requires manual labor, is more productive than the piggy has cost. $100,000 to unlock. This increases stands by two. This increases stands by three. You know what? Let's go for it. Uh, I'm gonna crush them both with this, even though it doesn't necessarily. It wasn't necessarily a good thing to buy that, because my tannins are gonna be through the roof, uh, which I will have to now manage, which is fine. So if I'm looking at getting a. Six is across the board for the one and six six seven six. No, 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 excuse me. Six six five six six six. I want five six six six. Eight. Uh, six six. So I want that sweetness to say the exact same. This sweetness, I want six is across the board. So I need this one to be in there for a month. It's really weird. Everything wants to be right around six. Like all middle of the road. Okay, so now five six six six. Uh, that's actually going to be. If I add ten percent, that'll be perfect and get this one. To, oh no, that's the. Sorry, that's the wrong one. Crap. I want this to be my mer or, or my chardonnay. No, no, my chardonnay. I do want five six six six. So. 
That's actually perfect by adding 10%. This one I want sixes across the board, but it needs to drop this 10 down to six. So I need to either drop it by two runs, which is, I need 10, yeah, I think 10% is the way to go. I do think the other barrels, though there's different barrel types that stainless steel that costs 100,000 to unlock, but decreases acidity by one and tannins by three instead of one and two. Steel vats are used mainly to production of white wines that brings out zesty and fruity flavors. So I need to like now think about this way. I kind of screwed it up for this one. I should have put my white, my Chardonnay in this. So I should have increased my acidity by another one or worked those tannins. Hmm. So yeah, I'm just gonna go both of these in common French oak because I believe I set myself up for the numbers that I want based on the common French oak. This one got the buttery. This is zero months old. Yeah, so I think in two months. Let's make sure it was two months that I wanted. Uh, five, oh no, no, it was only one month for that one. Five, six, six, six. And this one I do want to sit for another month, but I do want to bottle up this Chardonnay right away with a cork. Put it in there. Who did I do last? Uh, Archer Roo 007's Chardonnay. Let's bottle you up. Uh, we can go over here. We can organize a tasting with you right now. I'm going to do this with the... F oh my god, I got five stars. Let's do four stars across the board. Let me make sure. Where's my Chardonnay? Five, six, six, six. Oh, we already know with four star ratings that would have been a five. So let's go actually, let's add two fours and a five. Four and a half. Okay. So five, six, six, six. And a two fours. And a five gives me a 4.5 star, which is pretty good. So that didn't really help me at all. We can get this one selling here. It's going to sell for actually not as much money as I was hoping that that would sell for. We will give you all this one right now while I wait this next month. Make sure you're still, yeah, you're only one month old. So December, I need January to come around. January came around, and we have a 6666 with earthly flavors in my Merlot. And this one is going to go with CPKs. Or he wants it called, so this was a Connor Kinkle. What's it called? CPK. So, how about we'll just call this one the CPK Merlot 2031. And we'll bottle that baby up. We'll organize a tasting. And where did I have this one at? A five, or six is across the board with four star reviewers. Was a four star rating, but it was Sunburn. This one ain't Sunburn. That was all four star reviewers. So let's do this again. Let's go. Uh, Two fours and a five, and it's a four and a half. Okay, so something is not exactly where it wants to be. Um, two fours and a five, and it's a four and a half. It's still good, but something is a little bit off that that five star guy doesn't like too much. So we'll sell you 810 and you 270 of these bottles. And. I'm going to say that was a good episode. We're making some progress. Only running a two wine variety right now um, and a very small batch of that Merlot compared to what I could be running it with uh, by buying some more fields. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next episode of Terroir.